In this video, I am going to discuss about the portal vein. Portal vein is formed behind the neck of the pancreas by the union of superior mesenteric vein and splenic vein. Portal vein runs upward behind the first part of the duodenum and enter the right free margin of laser omentum. Before enter into the liver, it divides into right branch and left branch. Let's discuss the relations of portal vein. Bile duct is formed by the union of cystic duct and common hepatic duct. This bile duct runs downward in front of the portal vein but behind the first part of the duodenum and finally open into the second part of the duodenum. One of the branch of cystic trunk is known as common hepatic artery. This common hepatic artery divides into hepatic artery proper and gastroduodenal artery. Hepatic artery proper moves upward in front of the portal vein, while gastroduodenal artery runs downward behind the first part of the duodenum but in front of the portal vein. Now you can see in this figure anteriorly portal vein is related with the neck of the pancreas, first part of the duodenum bile duct, hepatic artery proper and gastroduodenal artery. Posteriorly, portal vein is related with the inferior vena cava. Now discuss the tributaries of the portal vein. First tributary of the portal vein is splenic vein which is formed at the hilum of the spleen and runs from left to right side behind the body of the pancreas. Inferior mesenteric vein and numerous pancreatic veins are open in the splenic vein during its course behind the body of the pancreas. Second tributary of the portal vein is superior mesenteric vein which join the splenic vein behind the neck of the pancreas and forms portal vein. Third tributary is superior pancreatico duodenal vein which join the portal vein behind the first part of the duodenum. Right and left gastric veins join the supraduodenal part of the portal vein. This gastric vein receives the blood from the laser curvature of the stomach. Cystic vein joins the right branch of the portal vein before it enters the right lobe of the liver. The last tributary is paraumbilical vein which connects the left branch of portal vein to the superficial veins of anterior abdominal wall around the umbilicus. So, splenic vein, superior mesenteric vein, superior pancreatico duodenal vein, right and left gastric vein, cystic vein and paraumbilical veins all are the tributaries of the portal vein. Remember, portal vein and its tributaries do not have any wall. Now it is clear that portal vein collects the blood from the pancreas via pancreatic veins. It collects the blood from spleen via splenic veins. Collect the blood from stomach via gastric veins. Collect the blood from the intestine via inferior and superior mesenteric veins. Blood from portal vein are transported into the liver. Here a question arises why the blood from these viscera's are going into liver instead of directly drain into inferior vena cava. As we know liver is the largest metabolic organ so liver required nutrients and hormones for their metabolic functions. Through the pancreatic vein, portal vein receives hormones like insulin and glucagon from the pancreas and deliver it into the liver. In the liver, insulin helps in the protein synthesis, lipogenesis, glucogenesis and other metabolic activities. Old RBCs are break down in the spleen. The product of this broken RBCs is bilirubin which reaches the liver through the splenic veins. In the liver, bilirubin takes part in the formation of bile. Through the gastric veins, portal vein receives lipid soluble substances like aspirin and alcohol from the stomach. 
Through the superior and inferior mesenteric vein, portal vein receives nutrients, water and electrolytes from the intestine. All these substances reaches the liver via portal vein. In the liver, portal vein divide and re-divide into minor branches and ultimately portal venous blood containing these essential substances are drained into the liver sinusoids. These liver sinusoids are lined by liver cells known as hepatocytes which utilize these essential substances in various metabolic activities like protein synthesis, glycogenesis, lipogenesis and etc. So portal venous system acts as an important transportation channel which provide raw material to the liver for his function. The word portal is derived from the word port. Port is the place which serve an important transportation hub. As we can see here, portal venous system transport raw materials to the liver for his function, hence its name portal vein. Thanks for watching. To watch more videos, please subscribe my channel Smart Learn and go to playlist.